In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that they have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate, and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then, when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and had me weighed. The water was up to my waist. Once more, he measured off a thousand. But there was now a river through which I could not wade. For the water had risen so high, it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this, son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river, I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Ereba, and it empties into the sea the salt waters which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live and there shall be abundant fish, for whenever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, and ever present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. 
The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose run lets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst, it shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Please stand. A clean heart create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a feast on the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool called Hebrew Bethsaida, with five porticos. In this lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. And when Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. And Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath, so the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. And they asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. And therefore the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Isang magandang himala po ang naipakita ni Jesus sa ating kwento ng Ibanghelyo. Siya'y nagpagaling ng isang taong 38 years nang may sakit na laging nakalatag lang dun sa tabi ng parang pool. Na sabi nila, na kapag gumalaw daw yun, may sense of himala kung baga dun sa pool. Unfortunately, wala siyang kasama. And he has been there for how many years already? And then, eventually, when he met Jesus, ayun, siya po'y pinagaling ni Jesus. Isang napakahalagang himala ang kanyang ginawa. Unfortunately, hindi po nakita ito ng mga tao. They missed the chance seeing a miracle. They miss to recognize such a miracle. Bakit? Because they were so preoccupied with a lot of things. Mas nangingibabaw pa sa kanila mga puso't isipan ang ginagawa ng iba. Kumbaga, mas nagbabantay pa sila ng iba. And so indeed, they missed the point of that miracle. Eh kung meron mga isang bagay na dapat natin matutunan sa Ibanghelyo ngayon, I guess that is something to do with focus. Focus on the works of God. Focus sa mga biyaya ng Diyos. 
focus sa mapagkakataon na tayo pinagbigyan ng Diyos. Huwag tayong pumayag na mas mangingibabaw sa ating mga puso at isipan at mata yung pagiging masyadong nagbabanta at nagbabantay ng kapwa. Huwag tayong pumayag na mas mangingibabaw pa sa atin yung paghuhusga sa kapwa. Huwag tayong pumayag na mas nakikita pa natin yung mali ng kapwa. Kung meron mang isang magandang nais iparating sa atin ang Ebanghelyo, sana mas mangingibabaw sa ating mga mata, isipan at kalooban yung kabutihan ng kapwa, yung kabutihan ng Diyos sa atin, yung mga biyayang ipinagkaloob sa atin ng Diyos, yung mga himalang pinakita ng Diyos sa atin. Sapagkat kapag hindi natin nakikita ang mga biyayang iyon, tiyak hindi magkakaroon ng personal renewal sa kalooban natin. Halimbawa, kung mas naging ibabaw sa ating mga mata yung kasamaan ng iba, yung paghuhusga sa iba, yung tinitignan natin yung, yung mali sa iba, eh, ang mabubuo sa kalooban natin dito ay yung galit, puot, at yung ganti. Pero kapag ang nakikita natin, ang mas nangibabaw kundi yung kabutihan ng kapwa, yung, yung kabutihan ng, mga, ng Diyos, kahit yung sa atin, kahit sa gitna ng mga pagsubok, mas nangingibabaw para yung pagtingin natin sa kabutihan ng Diyos. Siya mga kapatid, ang mga mabubuo sa kalooban natin ay yung pagiging mapagpasalamat. Yung gratefulness ang mabubuo sa puso. Yung charity na mas madali kang mag-unawa sa kapwa at magpatawad. At higit sa lahat, mas mangibabaw yung kapayapaan sa kalooban. Kaya sana po, nitong pagbisita natin dito sa, mahal, sa Basilika, tayo humihingi ng tulong sa ating mahal na ina, naway maging katulad rin tayo ng ating mahal na ina, na sa gitna ng pangapagsubok na kanyang nakita, sa, kanyang mga, sa mga nakita niyang kasamaan, sa mga pangungot siya ng pinakita ng ibang tao sa anak niya at sa kanila, mas pinili ni Inang Maria ang hayaang mangingibaba pa rin ang biyaya ng Diyos sa puso. At kitang-kita po, consistent sa buhay ni Maria, namuhay siyang mabuti, mabu- namuhay siyang mapayapa, at namuhay siyang may galak at pasasalamat sa Diyos. Huwag na huwag tayong pumayag na ang daladala natin dito ay yung galit, puot, ganti. Sana po, unti-unti na nating bawasan yan. Mabait ang Diyos sa atin. Kahit hindi tayo karapat-dapat sa ating mga biyaya, pinagkaloob pa rin niya sa atin. Sana, ang mas mabubuo sa ating mga puso't kalooban ay yung galak at pasasalamat sa Diyos. We all stand The better we know God, the more we realize our total dependence of Him. Aware of our limitations, we pray in our helplessness to God the Father. And for every petition, we shall say, Divine Healer, lift us up. Divine Healer, lift us up. That the leaders of the Church may give their lives unsparingly in the service of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, lift us up that we may have the generosity of heart to offer ourselves and grow in our need to follow christ who is meek and humble of heart let us pray to the lord divine healer lift us up that we may have the true spirit of humility in our dealings with the poor and the oppressed and that we may recognize the presence of of christ in them let us pray to the lord divine healer lifts us up 
that the sick may find love and support from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, lift us up. That those who have gone ahead of us may be united with God in His kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, lift us up. Now in silence, we offer to God our personal intentions. In a special way, we pray for the souls of Nang Inday Koka and Tristan Frank. Lord God, Father of the poor, conscious of our weakness and our pride, hear the request of your needy people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, may dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have has bestowed. They may attest to your care as Creator for this our mortal life and affect in us the healing that brings us immortality through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks almighty god for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks humble our sinful pride contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Your fire and mine, so Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that way we find help for our bodies, now and likewise in times to come, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now turn to St. Joseph, who brings comfort to the afflicted and consolation for the sick to help us in our needs. And we shall say, St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you saved the Savior from death in the hands of Herod. Save the world from the death of COVID-19, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you suffered to see that the child and his mother born in poverty in a manger. Stay with us as we endure our crosses of hunger joblessness and sickness due to COVID-19, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. 
Saint Joseph, you heard the prophetic words of Simeon to Mary, that her heart would be pierced by the sword. Beg God to bless her efforts to end the pandemic through the vaccination program and observance of health protocols, we pray. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joseph, you suffer protecting the child and his mother in exile in Egypt. Protect and shield from harm those who care for our brothers and sisters who are sick and dying, we pray. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joseph, you were anxious when the child was lost for three days in the temple. Turn our COVID-19 fears, anxieties, and depression into hope, joy, and peace, we pray. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Let us pray. Saint Joseph, come to our aid in these times of anguish and anxiety. Take us under your care as we place our trust in you now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on April 21, 2021. Novena Masses will begin on April 12 until April 20, 2021. The schedule of Masses will be at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m., and will be streamed live through the social platforms of the Minor Basilica and via Manawag Dominican Ratio 102.7 FM. We cordially invite you to participate in the Feast and the Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses during this Feast and Novena, you may approach our Basilica personnel in the religious doors and Mass intention counters. Thank you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. Grant, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever is for their good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now do the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we do the blessings of your religious articles. In memory and mysteries of the life, death, and, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May all your rosaries, candles, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.